think I have the trilogy on Steam. I originally had Weird Park on DVD, I think, back in the day. Detective Barbie, Alana. I think I love you, Alana. <laughs> Don't give up on that, okay? Gibbs, would you consider replaying Siberia? Ooh, that's a great question. Hmm. Kate Walker? I, it's, it has crossed my mind. I have technically tried to get Dar uh, Detective Barbie working, um, but obviously I haven't figured out the technical glitches. Do you mean like MCF Ravenhurst games? Like anything like Ladybug, like any, I guess, hidden object game or adventure game, you know? Because I, uh, I, what did I do? I did Dire Grove. Was that last year? I can't even remember when I did Dire Grove. I replayed it. And that was technically really janky. Like, it was really bad. That's the problem with some of the earlier games. They just don't work on modern computers, you know? When King Bluebeard left his wives at the palace in his absence, he gave them every freedom but one. They must not enter the Forbidden Chamber. Bluebeard was betrayed by his own wives. All of them defied his wishes. And their curiosity caused their tragic end. Ah, Redemption Cemetery. You know what? I actually was looking at ERS Games Gamer. I have not actually dug into that, but like Puppet Show, Redemption Cemetery, those are some good stuff. You didn't redo the 13th Skull one. No, I have not. It's installed on my computer and at some point, maybe. Come on, what Gibbs said about the XL prints. Yeah. No, they, they did a really great job. They really did. So, yeah, I mean, that's really just what I'm going to continue to do, folks. I'm just going to continue to play some of the newer games and replay some of the older classics. Because I feel like that's just a good, healthy balance, right? And it's kind of fun to, you know, go back to these old games and go, damn, these games were good. You know? I enjoy that. Woman wedding dresses? Wait, did I miss that? I would love to see you play any Barbie game. Any Barbie game? Oh, okay. But I still don't have access to do anything with this thing yet. No, like, I, I, I have... I don't want to get too technical, but I have been able to install Detective Barbie um, and even run it, but I haven't been able to get sound out of it. Which I feel like, you know, you kind of need to have sound. It's kind of a important. But uh, I'm not giving up. It's just one of those things that's technically a challenge. So it's like, I got to come at it and then take a break and then come at it and then take a break, you know? Sometimes it's just nice to just load up a new game and don't even think about it. Is the sword going to work? Okay, I thought it was going to be dull or something. Onwards to the secret pier. Oh, hello there. What you doing over here? Am I not able to talk to you? War. The only thing it leaves behind is a trail of destruction and suffering. I should break this rock with something. I don't know, a sword? No. With a craven? No. So she's just going to stand there? Like, do, do you not have anything to say? Nothing to add? Nothing to... You know, contribute at all? 
We could help you with all the voice acting and sound effects. <laughs> uh, that's actually a really good idea. <laughs> okay, so now what am I doing in here? It's gotta be here, right? I got a bunch of stuff. So let's put the fish here. Nope. I got a crank. It's got horses on it. And I have a silver necklace. Hmm. Who needs a silver necklace? Doesn't look like she does. The castle looks a lot like the Latrell from Dark Souls 3. Like, that's, you know, Cat just brings something that comes to my mind. Like, one thing I have been doing is playing other types of games, not just hidden object games, right? I'm pretty sure it's still two out of four or three out of four. No, two out of four. Not quite there yet. Who needs a necklace? I could use some water here. And I guess I could use some fire here. I do fan dubs gives. Oh yeah, that's right. You did do that. That was that was actually kind of cool to what you did there with Exile Prince. Good for you. This part needs to be set on fire. I do not have the ability to do that yet. No such luck. So what am I doing over here? I should cut these with something sharp and strong. That girl is tied in the fishing net. Let's get her out of there. Chancellor, I'm sorry for the trouble. Our boat got caught in a swift current towards Kokino. We tried to return, but that crazy King Bluebeard caught us. He took Teresa somewhere. I hope she's all right. He tied our boat at his secret pier, but we must hurry. We've got to save her. Hmm, the girl dropped something. Did she though? Is that a hand? Or is that just the glove? Is there a dead body? Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, we got the horse and we got the pole for the mace. Hmm. Wow, there's water and like the fog over there looks really nice. Oh, Daphne, wait, she ran towards the palace. I can't follow her through those shrubs. I'll have to cut them down. Wait, where did she go? She just ran away. Is this the right tool for the job here? The kingdom of Presidio cannot be defeated. I've seen it with my own eyes. They pray to the sea goddess and she responds. They must have found a way to use her powers for themselves. I've sent my best man to spy for me, but we haven't we haven't heard from him in a long time. Trusty John, have you betrayed me? Trusty John. Who the heck is Trusty John? Trusty John and Bluebeard. There we go. Sapphire Eye, Flint and Steel. Very lovely. We're gonna light it up. Wow, that sound effect is gorgeous. Oh yay, we gotta assemble the two paintings. Oh, this is my favorite. My favorite, oh God. <laughs> I mean, hooray. This is, 
gonna be glorious. So... Just settle in, folks. We got a long way to go. Hmm. I like that they've put this piece as a immovable object here, because that just makes our life so much more fun. Okay, so clearly these three pieces got to go way the hell over there. So... We're just gonna have to figure out how to do this. How the hell are we gonna do all this? Let's move these out of the way. Jellyfish to the top left. Yes, thank you so much, Grimy. Welcome in. I'm gonna try to like get the pieces I don't want over here. Like I'm assuming that get this turtle or whatever the hell this thing is out of the way. Okay, so this is looking good, right? fish has to go. So, so far so good, right? So that's going to be probably this blue square. And that piece has to go there. Oh, wow. This is going to be a little awkward. Because I got to get both pieces there now. Hmm. Let's see if we can get these out of the way at least. I need this piece back, though. Those pieces go together. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is just padding the game. Come on, let's be honest. We're just padding the game at this point. Yay! Half of it's done. This thing's probably at the bottom, right? That's probably its tail. This has got to be the top, I'm guessing. That looks like that goes there. Hmm. We'll 
we'll find out. Kind of doesn't look right, but whatever. So where does this go? It's got to go... Like, this piece is going to go there. That one's going to go there. I guess it's got to go, like, right there. i to somehow get it over there now. Puzzle! Phew! Princess Teresa is in the tank! Yeah, so this was the book that glitched me last time I played this game, so it's fine. I think we'll be okay this time. Let's go ahead and put it together! Two more to go. Two golden pieces, right? Or what appears to be golden piece. There's one of them. And now we just need one. Oh, I think I got it. Hooray! Gold slash bronze. The golden crown. And here's where we can put certain cravens. Looking good, looking real good. I was trying to remember all the dark parables and the salt princess seemed to be the saddest for me. Hmm. You'll have to remind me, I don't remember that one. Since the first moment I saw your portrait, I have been enchanted by your beauty. Sea goddess, please answer. For my love and faith are true. I will do anything just to be with you. Hey, wait, that kind of rhymes. The king was infatuated with the sea goddess. Well, she is a stunning, strong, independent woman, so. Hip hip hooray for that. Okay. I don't know about crazy. Crazy is a bit strong. He's in love. All love is good love. If you're going to play it, I'll keep it a secret. Okay, that's fine. No problem. Not a problem. She looks scared. Oh, there's a parable there. How can I get her out of here? Hmm. So clearly I need the other mermaid. And the other statues. Crazy with love, right? Exactly. Sophie, hello there. Yeah, the last time I played I had some challenges, but I think we're okay this time. I think it's fine. Let's go ahead and get cracking. I have another figurine to build. A moon is on the broken ship. Okay, let's go back and get it. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, 
I love the sound of the water, by the way. Like, I love the overall theme of this game. The mermaids, the pirates slash sea sort of thing, but... Clicking ASMR? Yeah, I know. You know me, cat. You know me. I'm here to please with my clicking and clacking. Bluebeard love is Chancellor, very deathly. please. You must rescue Teresa. Who knows what that monstrous king is doing to her? To her or with her? Don't worry. We won't leave without you guys. Please, be careful. We have to free Teresa. The crown is missing an ornament. Ornament? Ornament. What's this? Mural piece. Ah. Where was that ship anyways? I've kind of lost track of it. It's this way, wasn't it? Pretty sure I got the one here. Is this not a broken ship? Pretty sure this is a broken ship. <laughs> what if they're just eating sushi and chatting? Yeah, exactly. Why are we being so hasty and assuming the worst? Put all the puzzle pieces in their place. Ooh. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Holy moly. Okay, at least it snaps nicely. Snapping is good. But it won't let me actually drag it off. See that? It won't let me do what I normally do, which is get it the hell away from the... So we can actually see what the heck we're doing. Are so good. Nice, lovely water running here. Come on, slide in there, please. Where the heck? Oh, up there, I guess. 